The steering rack is supported at the pinion end by being sandwiched between the pinion and a spring-loaded rack guide yoke. This spring-loaded yoke ensures free play is eliminated between the gears while still allowing for relative movement. The rack is supported at the other end of the rack housing or tube by a bush, normally of nylon. Nylon is used because it has a low coefficient of friction and low wear rate. The pinion is supported by two bearings in the rack housing. These bearings are preloaded to keep the pinion in the correct position relative to the rack and to eliminate free play. The rack and pinion steering box is normally lubricated by grease. Each end of the rack is protected from dirt and water by a flexible synthetic rubber bellows attached to the rack housing and to the tie rod. The bellows extends and collapses as the tie rods move away from and towards the housing as the rack moves. On some vehicles, both bellows are interconnected by a tube so that as the steering wheel is moved from side to side, air is transferred from the collapsing bellows side to the expanding bellows side. Rack and pinion type steering gears are used because their construction makes them compact and lightweight. Their steering response is very sharp because the rack operates directly on the steering knuckle and there is very little sliding and rotation resistance which gives lighter operation.